hey guys welcome back to my channel so of course I'm just back to do a wig review so I just really want to show you guys this wig like OMG like I'm sorry I don't know y'all know I, I review a lot of hair and a lot of wigs but I think that this may be it this may be the one okay so let me let you guys take a look at it so this is what the wig looks like this is from the company Eon uh, Eon hair so this is it. Now, I am the one that went in and put the little highlights in it. Now, what I was going for, I know it looks sporadic. It doesn't look like it's a lot going on. But um, this is what I was going for. I didn't want a lot of color. I didn't want a lot going on. I just wanted the, the little pops and peaks of color. I've always liked that. When girls have natural curly hair and they do their hair like that, I've always loved that look. I've always wished I had like super curly hair to do that with. So I said, you know what? Let me do that. And the way that I did it was I was just bleaching my frontal. And in the midst of bleaching it, I was like, I have all these bleach left over. So I was, well, I was bleaching the knots. I was like, let me just use the rest of it or whatever. And I just sporadically put it around and it gave me just this subtle like look and I absolutely love it. Okay. So the, um, I'm looking down, this is, uh, their 18 inch kink curly. I'm not sure if I already said that. If I did, please excuse that. But I just think this is just the perfect look. I don't think it's too long. I don't think it's too short. I think it's fun. I think it's flirty. I think it looks very natural. This the one. Okay. And then let me tell you guys this much that y'all probably not going to believe. Okay. I did not pluck this frontal at all with this wig because it is a 360. I did not pluck it at all. I'm sorry. Can anybody hear that? I did not pluck this frontal at all. The only thing I did was cut my lace okay and I laid a few baby hairs the way I wanted this is I just wanted a few baby hairs all the way around like my head just to kind of you know just to kind of make it look really natural that's why I opted not to do a harsh part because I just like the curl pattern of this wig I love the curl pattern and I wanted that to show through the only thing that I did was I went in and I flat ironed the front well, I uh, flat iron the front, like with my hot comb, my hot comb the front, so the back could be like a little bit more, I mean, the front could be a little bit more flat, so it can look a little bit more scalp-like, and I might go, I may go in and pluck some, but honestly, I don't think this looks bad. I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks pretty good, and I have a mirror here that I'm just looking at, but, um, but yeah, I don't think this looks bad. I like it. I'm feeling it. Like, this this is it and i could wear it you know however i had it all kind of flipped over to the side you know however and i just you know dropped it down there and it just looks even better to me but I, i'm feeling it i like it i mean i like it i have reviewed a lot of wigs from um well quite, quite a few weeks I, don't, I wouldn't say a lot quite a few weeks from this company i really do like this company when it comes to curly wigs they just do it and they do it right um if I can remember, I would try to link the other videos down below if I can't, uh, if I, if, not if I can't, but if I do not remember, they are down on my channel. Now with this company, this is worth mentioning. If you feel like you have a bigger head or you have a lot of hair, I would suggest ordering it in a large cap size. So go ahead and size up because I did notice that, and I noticed, I, I say this in all my rest of my videos, but I did notice with this particular company, I think that their caps run a little small and maybe it's just my head, but um, I do have to get a large cap size in this particular company, okay? So if you have a bigger head or you have a lot of hair, I would suggest opting to a large cap size just to be on the safe side. And I just said that because it's easier to resize a cap that's too big than a cap that's too small, okay? Just a little tip there when ordering from this company. But guys, I would definitely, definitely suggest giving them a try. This is the perfect wig. I'm going on a cruise in a couple months and I think this is going to be it because it's just so easy it does require a little maintenance but literally I wet this hair and I let it air dry and this is the effect that I get in my love <laughs> I'm in love. I'm sorry. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. And I'm going to keep it just this nice flirty look because I love this flip over type look. I like the ease of it. I like just the the ease, the versatility, the ease, the versatility and just the 
just looks natural. Like I can just, you know, wear it however. And it, it's not like she got a wig on. It's like, okay, who, where? Um, can I get the info, please? Send me the website. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's it's what's up. I'm not gonna uh, keep rambling on about the hair, or whatever. As far as tangling and shedding, you guys know this is curly hair, so um, the curls will intertwine. So as far as tangling, nothing excessive. Okay, just the normal that comes with curly hair. And as far as shedding, haven't experienced. Actually, I'm not even gonna lie. I really have not experienced like any shedding. Not. Not really, because even after I wash it a few times, mm -mm, haven't experienced any shedding or anything like that. And as far as what I put in the hair, because I know some people are going to ask me, guys, I really didn't, I didn't put anything in the hair this time. I didn't even put mousse in this hair. The only thing I did was wash this hair and I, um... I washed it with some shampoo and some conditioner and I let it air dry and that's it. There is absolutely not no product in this hair. None, zero, zilch at all. This is the natural curl pattern of the hair without any, any, any altering. Literally. Washed it, let it air dry. This is what we got. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about this hair. Would you consider purchasing it? What y'all think about my highlights and my low lights or whatever kind of lights y'all, you know, post a comment. Y'all know I'm not professional and I hate dying hair. Let me know what you guys think about that. Um, is this a look? Is it a look, sis? Because I need to know. Is it a look? <laughs> Let me know. I'm just getting more so in the, in the light so you guys can kind of see the highlights. But anyways, like I said, links will be down below. Any questions, comments, concerns, you guys know I'll get back to you all at my earliest convenience. Sound like a voicemail, but yeah.